Rod, uh, obviously Josh and Matt are babies having a great season. How does he continue to have success when I'm guessing he's probably at the top of the scouting report for the defense? Well, I just think that, uh, you know, one, he's a good football player. Good football players find a way to get open, find the ball. Uh, good quarterbacks know how to gain the ball, I think. And uh, hopefully I'm smart enough to gain the ball as well. So, uh, you know, he, he does a good job uh, just from a physical standpoint. He's starting to understand more and more of what we're trying to do offensively. He's, you know, he's really getting settled in, in my opinion. And uh, I was comfortable with him outside as probably anybody I've had in a while in terms of just, if I know I got him one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> I feel pretty good about my odds with him going up and getting the football. Right, how much is a one player like he gave in this influence the game plan? Tremendous. Tremendous. He's a, he's a world of football player. Um, He's big, he's long, he's physical, he's athletic, he's all he checks all the boxes. You know, he, he caused havoc here last year playing against us. He caused havoc this past weekend when you watched him. Uh, just an outstanding football player. And uh, you gotta know where he is at all times. I mean, that's the bottom line. Outside of him, what's that defense challenge? Yeah, I, I said this last year and I truly wholeheartedly believe it. I thought they were the best team that we played last year. I really do. I think, you know. I know the record may have might have uh, showed it last year, but if you look at last year's game, they were just a couple points away from winning 19 games. And uh, I think just they were completely sound, physical. They checked all the boxes in my opinion last year, and I think they're the same team this year. I think they're really good. Um, I just you know, they're 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 going to be a handful, and uh, they're as good as well, here we are once again. They're as good as any defense I think we faced. Seems like everybody's got a top-notch defense this year in the Big Ten. Seems like. Rod, uh, Donnie Navarro, a kid like you know, like him, you know, getting a scholarship now, and what's he meant to this team over these last couple of years? Well, I think he basically epitomizes what we've been trying to preach to our guys in terms of you know when you get your opportunity, you make the most of it. And Donnie was a guy that, in my opinion, that was not buried, but he was behind some guys because he was ineligible last year. So he had to kind of set his turn and wait his turn. But Donnie always, you know, when he had his opportunity to make a play, he always did it seem like. I mean, he just became consistent and continued to continue to gather the confidence of, of the offensive staff. And uh, his role obviously expanded. Coach, have you noticed Coach Smith being in a better mood lately? I've never seen him in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> Is he more jollier? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is this the beard that does it for him, baby? No, it's just time of the yet. season, you know? I don't know. Uh, no, yeah, I think he definitely is. You know, I think it's, we all are, Bob. You know what I mean? So it's one of the things where, it's, you know, the air smells better, the food tastes better, everything's better when you win. So, you know, it's not just him. I think it's, it, 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 it uh, kind of filters down through the whole entire program. What goes into you evaluating yourself as a play caller when you watch the game on Sunday mornings and, and try to figure out how you can get better or what you could have done differently from yeah. week to week? Good question. I'm probably about as hard on myself as anybody because I uh, I got to go home and sleep at night thinking, okay, why'd you do this? Why'd you do this for? Why couldn't you have got this guy the ball more? Why? You know, I, I run through all those situations in my head all the time and I'm constantly trying to figure out, okay, what do I need to get better at? And a lot of times it all comes down to one thing, in my opinion, it's execution. When we execute our offense, when we execute, then I know that we want to get me getting a rhythm. And two, I know that what I understand is what our kids understand. All right? It's more important that our kids understand it than what I understand. It, right? I told I just told our offense staff, you know, it, it's it's important for us to know what we're doing. It's more important for our kids to know exactly what their assignments are, what they're doing. So we can add a bunch of stuff. You can put, you can tinker with things. You can do different things. If your kids can't grasp it and they can't execute it, then you got to dial back your coaching in terms of that. So I think that's one thing that I'm always, always, you know, I love ideas. I love tinkering with new things. I love trying to figure things out. But it all goes back, can you execute the other day? So yeah, I do try to uh, evaluate myself daily, weekly, however you want to say it. What's a rhythm feel like? We felt like that last drive against Michigan State. We felt like, right? Uh, just, I mean, it's just one of them deals where, Jeremy, where you're, 
you're calling it, and you you see it from up top, and your quarterback sees it as well. He sees the same thing you're seeing, and the ball's being delivered, it's being caught, it's being protected, and it just you know it just it just feels right, man. All of a sudden, now you get the feeling, okay, now he can do this because he's seeing this, he's seeing this roll coverage, he's seeing this one-on-one -on -one situation. So it kind of opens you up to take more shots, to take more chances, um, in my opinion, and uh, kind of help our guys uh, get loose, so to speak, if, 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 if we can get in the rhythm. And then, I mean, if you can add some tempo involved in with it, kind of, it's, it's, it's fun to watch whatever happens. Did you sense that you a few tries? Is it a gradual process for that, or do you notice it within, like, let's say, that last drive of Michigan State, did you notice the line that drive? No, I noticed it in the second half, to be honest with you. There was times when we were kind of, it was close. Uh, first half, we didn't show up until right before the halftime. And they, they, they ran them in a hell of a play there before the half yet. But I think that gave us some momentum. And I think our kids understood that we missed a lot the first half. Uh, so we went out and we started executing, started making some throws, making some catches, <coughs> made some runs here and there. And then all of a sudden, we started snowballing. So, you know, yeah, it, it's a feel thing, obviously. But I think it's more important that you see it. Are you getting first downs? Are you moving the chains? Uh, are you executing? And that's what it comes down to. It had been a long time since the line at quarterback had put together the kind of performance Brandon did in a road environment like that. Yeah. How powerful is that for a team on the road when your quarterback is kind of done something like that? Making those First of all, extremely proud of Brandon. The way he hung in there and just kept just kept plugging, man. Kept fighting, kept kept competing. And that's what Brandon gives you. And uh, you know, he's, as you know, he's never too high, he's never too low. He's somewhere in between. And that's a hell of a trait for a quarterback, in my opinion, particularly a competitor. You understand how to control it. He does. Uh, and I've said all along, once Brandon continues to keep getting comfortable with our system, comfortable with what we're doing, I think he can be a really good football player for us all said and done. I think he's made strides weekly. So, uh, yeah, it was good to see him to see him uh, kind of come out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I thought he did a hell of a job for us. How much were you mentioned 63 nothing last year to this guy? I mean, I don't know if you have to. It speaks for itself, right? I mean, that's just one of the ones that it's a nightmare you, you want to forget. It's like a bad train wreck. You don't want I mean, you can't. It just keeps going over and over in your mind. So, you know, uh, I'm not about revenge. I'm more about execution. I'm more about us playing a better better brand of ball coming out here next Saturday. And, uh, you know, see if we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe and compete with these guys, see what happens. Right. You mentioned momentum. It seems like you guys built that with these. Four wins on top of you. So how do you keep that through the open week? How do you not you know, slow down from that? Well, I mean, you go out and you try to win again, right? I mean, that's the goal is to go one and zero. The goal is not to go four, five, six. The goal is to go one and zero at the end of the week. That's what you do. And you try to do it as many times as possible. So we don't really talk about. I mean, I don't about stacking five wins, six wins. No, let's just go out here. Let's go one and zero this week. All right, and see where we're at. Right into the recruiting message, kind of stays the same way you sell them, but when you went out on the road, is there a different response? There you go. There's the difference. <laughs> the message is the same, the response is different, Jeremy. Um, but we've been selling this place, we've been selling Lovey's Vision, and there's kids that bought into it back when towns were a little rough, uh, and there's kids taking more notice now uh, during this time, the current time. So um, the message hasn't changed, the response has definitely changed. I promise you that. A lot more, a lot more eyes, a lot more uh, ears to listen to you, a lot more better responses in terms of our kids that we're talking to. How does that feel to be able to go out with some ammunition? Oh, it feels great. <laughs> yeah, it feels, I mean, you know, it feels awesome. And uh, once again, I think we have some guys that are tremendous recruiters as well that can go out and they, they work it anyway. They grind it, they work it, and they're good recruiters. It just helps, it just helps their case, helps all of our cases as we go forward. Moving and selling kids on our vision, moving this program forward. Rod, you, 